I lied. It does need some narration. But anyway, here we are in the crew wild run again. And we're going to be taking a look at a secret new vehicle that they've added into the crew. Now, the way you can drive this thing is you go to Community Challenge near the Mexican border. That's the Perfspec Challenge. And you get, basically, you don't even need to get a car. It's going to provide you a car, which is uh, a brand new car that's coming into the summit very soon. You can probably see it just slightly. And you shall see it very, very soon. And it is this bad boy, the Ferrari F40. Man, this thing just seems sound nice, and it looks so nice too. In fact, we actually, it was actually to be expected that this car was going to come into the crew because it was actually in the game files for the beta of Wild Run. And if a car is already in the files, then that must mean they have suc uh, successfully got a license for this car. Because why would it be in the Wild Run beta if they don't have a license for it? But anyway, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's basically fully done, ready to go to be driven, except for a few issues. The RPM gauge functions as a boost gauge, and I actually just recently noticed that there's actually a boost gauge underneath the RPM gauge. I don't know if you noticed that, but for some reason the RPM gauge functions as a boost gauge, and it only goes up to 1000 RPM, when it should be going up to max 7.3k, uh, seven, uh, 7 but 7.3, 7.5k, somewhere around there. But all I have to say is this car is, looks amazing. This is actually the Perspec variant. We don't know what specs is going to happen, but we know for sure right now that Perspec is confirmed because I'm driving it right here, and you're able to drive it. And by the looks of it, if you look at it, this thing actually has visual parts onto it, which mean, which might mean that the visual parts are actually already done, because they could have just slapped on some stock, some stock visual parts onto it and uh, let us drive it. Also, in terms of speaking of driving, this car drives amazing. There's nothing that needs to be changed here. I just have, all I have to say is that's all I have to say. It's I mean, granted, it's a 990 uh, pi. How do you say it? performance level car? And uh, at that point, they're kind of all kind of balanced and they all handle pretty well. But not all of them. I'm pretty sure this thing should be a dream to drive. It deserves great handling. And as you can see, you can probably tell just a little bit, the RPM gauge and the boost gauge are right next to each other. There's a boost gauge to the right of the RPM gauge, and you can see that the RPM gauge is limited to 1,000 RPM for some reason. And I bet that can be fixed. They actually have quite a bit of time left to fix this. They have a, like a full month to fix this issue. Because this car is actually the next Summit car for uh, May and... what is it? May and June, I think? Yes, May and June. You'll be able to win it first in May, and then uh, they'll put it back in the... F in, uh, in it. Basically, they're going to put it in for June again, for those that didn't have a chance to win it in May, or they uh, didn't see that this car was coming in. But anyway, back... Uh, we're actually still discussing this thing. This thing actually... The model is amazing, I'll have to say. It, it looks just amazing. The, the devs have outdone themselves, in this case, with this car. Pop-up headlights, looks like they'll actually function. And there's high beams and stuff like that. It's it's basically ready to go. It's be added into the game. Except, there's one massive problem. We're going to have to wait an entire month to be able to win this thing. Through the summit. And hopefully I'll get a chance to win this thing. Actually, no doubt, I probably will win this thing because I'll put myself on the Platinum. Rather quickly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here, because I just want to have a look at this thing. I don't want to drive this thing anymore, I just want to look at it now. And as you can see, you can see the RPM boost gauge, I actually put text on the screen because I thought I wouldn't narrate this. And I actually mentioned to the devs that this is an issue, the uh, RPM fun gauge functioning as a boost gauge. And I'm pretty sure they've already seen it. Uh, how would you say, Glade Heal or something like that, something along those nine lines. I'm pretty sure that Dev saw that. He posted about this thing. I'm pretty excited to see this thing, and I actually co drive this mission with um, my friend High Train. And I was like, okay, we're gonna play this mission. There's a brand new car in it, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. And he was shocked by the fact that this is coming into the next summit. But anyway, now I'm gonna replay this mission, and I'm, not, and I'm gonna just uh, leave it here with no narration. So, hope you guys enjoy.